Hello and welcome to this short video about RSS feeds. RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication or Rich Site Summary. And essentially this orange button here that you see on many many sites on the internet, particularly WordPress, WordPress based sites, um, is the symbol for the RSS feed for the site. And if I click on that button you'll see the feed for the site and the feed will be determined by how I set up the site to begin with um, you can have 5 or you can have 10 or 15 posts, recent posts in the feed now this is the last post I've done which I've published you know half an hour ago or whatever and the feed is automatically updated every time you publish a new post okay so if somebody wants to uh, follow what you're publishing on your website they can simply subscribe with the feed by pressing the orange button and they can have your site's content delivered to their email or they can subscribe by a reader a Google reader or various other devices provided by uh, Google so the benefit for any website or webmaster owner is that you take the feed address so the feed address here will be up in the browser bar you see here webdesigndublin.org feed just copy that and then you can head to popular RSS feed sites such as this one feedag.com okay so you've taken this, the feed from your site you simply put it in here you fill out some uh, descriptive tags as to what your feed is about um, just fill in the capture here and put in the number whatever and you will have your feed all of your uh, mo 10 most recent posts published on this site and the likes of this site and other top RSS directories are very very popular with people who you know are looking for content about specific topics or whatever so the benefit of this taking the feed from your site and here's the feed again and you get that by simply clicking on the orange button you submit it then to the likes of feed ag and you submit it to feed age again it's the same story it's an rss uh, capture uh, site and you can find RSS feeds here but more importantly if you're promoting your site and wish to promote your content you do so by submitting an RSS feed so you simply pick your market you put in the URL of your feed and you submit it now if we head back or head over to FeedBurner FeedBurner is a site that's owned by Google and this is the FeedBurner uh, RSS feed for a video podcast I did but once you create your feed here on FeedBurner uh, they will create or burn a feed for you similar to this one and again this one is a podcast so it's got this little play now thing here for the various videos uh, all of the content in that feed uh, in the podcast all of these videos are sort of neatly set up and, and laid out for anybody who wishes to subscribe uh, to the feed they can subscribe then any interested visitor or whatever can subscribe by using any of these services here Google is probably the most popular one but you may choose to you know subscribe with Yahoo or whatever again you know this feed is created from uh, another feed uh, so essentially you're getting two feeds at least from your site which you can again submit to the top uh, directories uh, on the internet which will bring you traffic and will get you some backlinks important backlinks actually and valuable backlinks a lot of people don't realize but if they have a WordPress site they automatically have an RSS feed so don't waste the opportunity to get some traffic and get some backlinks but a lot of people don't realize that each category in a WordPress site also has its own individual feed so if we take the category here online marketing Ireland all the entries 
in, in this listing will be the entries which are in the category Online Marketing Ireland, all right? However, if we go up to, again, go up to the browser bar and add slash and feed and press enter, you're going to get a new feed which will be only the entries in the Online Marketing Ireland category which again is another way of generating more traffic and more backlinks to your site because you take this feed then and you submit it to the uh, top feed grabbers or feed directories um, on the internet. Now if we just go back here to the last piece of content on this site of mine, um, how to use RSS feeds to generate traffic and backlinks to your website. You'll see here a listing of the top 15 or 14 RSS feed directories on the internet. So you can simply take your feed from your site, this one. You can take each category feed from each of the categories that's on your site, all of these. And you can also go down to FeedBurner, FeedBurner.com, and you can create another feed and you know with all of these fields and submitting them to the top directories the RSS feed directories and to other websites around the internet you will generate significantly uh, good quality backlinks and you will get some traffic as well it's well worth doing and it doesn't cost you a cent and uh, feeds as I say are automatically generated by the WordPress software